Hey guys, I'm Leo. Happy New Year, everyone! How was your New Year? Do you enjoy? Okay, for the first video this year, I'd like to show you how to make a popular daifuku mochi called Yomogi Daifuku. Do you know what Yomogi is? This is a Japanese herb known as Magwat in English. It grows everywhere in Japan, especially in rural area. It sprouts in spring and has unique and amazing flavor. The daifuku, whose outer skin is mixed with the young leaves, is eaten in spring as a popular seasonal sweet in Japan. Actually, it would be very difficult to find fresh yomogi out of Japan, but you can get yomogi powder online. I will show you how to make the daifuku nicely later in this video. So, after watching this video, you will be able to make it at home. Yay. And at the end of this video, I will talk a little more about yomogi daifuku. Okay, let's get started. Yomogi is growing at the corner of our garden in California. You wanna use just young leaves to make tasty and nice textured daifuku. Pick only the top of each yomogi plant. This amount, around one ounce of fresh yomogi, is enough to make eight pieces of daifuku. Then rinse the yomogi to remove any dirt. Next, boil them in the boiling water for a couple of minutes. Then, chop them into small pieces. This little chopping is good enough to make tasty yomogi daifuku. But if you wanna make a whole green colored daifuku, I recommend that you blend them with a blender so that green juice comes out of the leaves and make the daifuku green. Next, please prepare these portions of glutinous rice flour called mochiko, sugar, water, soybean powder, and lightly smashed azuki bean paste called tsubuan. I think you can find the mochiko and tsubuan at any Japanese grocery store near you. It takes a little bit long to cook tsubuan from scratch, but homemade tsubuan is no doubt the tastiest. I've uploaded another video on how to make tsubuan, so please check it out. If you hit the subscribe button, you won't miss such videos and can enjoy your own Japanese desserts totally made from scratch. Let's mix measured mochiko, sugar, and water in a small pan. Before you turn on the heat, put the starch in the big pan or on the cutting board. We are gonna use it later. Okay. Let's heat the mochiko, sugar, and water mixture on medium heat. Please keep mixing with the spatula to not let it burn. As you can see, it gets sticky as it cooks. If you look away even a little, it will for sure get burned, and you don't want to do that. So, please keep mixing it with a spatula from bottom to the top and from corner to corner. The longer it cooks, the stickier it gets. As you can see, the mochi dough becomes kind of transparent and sticky, which means it is finished. Then, mix a blended or chopped yomogi leaves in it and mix well. If you mix them at the beginning of the heating process, the green color may change and it cannot turn out to be nice green daifuku. And if you have yomogi powder, mix it with some water and add it and cook the mochi as a substitute for fresh yomogi leaves. Look at this! 
It looks nice, fresh green. It only takes just a couple of minutes. Turn off the heat. Put the cooked mochi dough on top of the starch in the pan prepared earlier. Spread additional starch on it with a strainer. Then, eventually, the whole surface of the dough is covered in starch. I sometimes use soybean powder as a substitute for starch, especially when I want to make yomogi daifuku but I'm running out of starch. That's because yomogi mochi matches with the flavor of soybean powder very much for me. Let the mochi dough cool, otherwise the dough is too sticky to cut without it sticking to a knife. Next, cut the dough into small pieces. Cut the mochi dough with a knife like this. I should have made the shape of dough square so that I could use the corner of the cut dough, but it's okay. I also like to cut it using my thumb and pointer finger. It's one of the best ways to divide and make perfectly random mochi pieces out of a big mochi dough. Please watch another video on how to make typical daifuku. I explained about it more in the video. Okay, the final process is to cover tsubuombo with a piece of mochi. Actually, this is the most difficult part in this whole process. Let me show you a good way to cover tsubuombo nicely and easily. Put a piece of mochi on your palm and remove extra starch with a brush. Then, make the piece of mochi round like this. Then, hold the tsubuombo with your fingers and put a piece of mochi on the top of it. Watch my hands carefully. Hold the mochi with your thumb and pointer finger and extend the mochi downward. Then, as the mochi covers the bowl to some extent, pinch the edge of the mochi with your fingers to close the opening. Yay, you are done! Before eating it, remove the extra starch with a brush and spread soybean powder over the daifuku. It looks very tasty and the combination of soybean powder, yamogi, and tsubuan is perfect! Here are the important points to remember today. First, pick and use only young yamogi leaves. Second, Keep mixing heated mixture of mochiko, sugar, and water to not let really it burn. Third, mix yomogi after the mochi dough is cooked so that you can keep the green color. Fourth, let the dough sit a little to harden. Fifth, master how to cover tsubuombo nicely. Okay, so let me explain more about Yomogi Daifuku Mochi. There are the five seasonal festivals in Japan, which is called Gosekku. Go means five and sek means seasonal festivals. This custom came from ancient China, and one of them is called Joshi no Sekku or Momo no Sek, and is held on March 3rd. It is established itself as an event to drive away evil spirits there are many ways to celebrate this festival in Japan. Yomogi mochi has been eaten in the festival because Yomogi sprouts in spring and it is believed that the strong flavor of Yomogi has the power to drive away evil spirits. So I think it is good to eat this Yomogi mochi on New Year to spring. So please enjoy making it for yourself. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed learning Japanese culture with a focus on cooking. 
I'm gonna upload more videos about not only cooking but also tea ceremony and other Japanese cultural traditions once a week, more in 2021. So please look forward to it. I do my best. And send your comments if you like to see or learn more about specific subjects. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, see you again soon. Bye!